What is up, guys and gals, and welcome to Immortal Redneck. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. It's been out for a little while to check out a game that's like one part Serious Sam, one part Ziggurat, one part RPG, five parts shooters. I don't really know what the sum of the constituent parts is here. All I can tell you is it's a game that's been a lot of fun so far, and I wanted to check it out with you here on the channel. So we get to pick between the Redneck, who's got, uh, increases your rate of fire, so he's the Lord of Mayhem. Then he's got a passive skill that increases the amount of ammo you collect. He's got all of his stats down there. He starts with a shotgun, a handgun, and dynamite. Or we can be Apis. Apis has an active skill, which is temporary invincibility. His passive skill is that he carries four weapons, but he can only jump once. He can't do like a double jump thing. He starts with a revolver, an Uzi, a Gatling gun, and a grenade launcher. Okay, well, I'll go with, uh, I'm going to go with Apis. He's the god of strength, and so he's going to be our patron for this run. And so we push our way out of our little mummy bag over here, or I don't even know what we got going. What is it right here? Our sarcophagus, our sarcophagus, our sarcophagus Steve, sarcophagan. This place is closed right now. Okay. Uh, this is our skill tree over here. When you go to the skill tree, you can spend money to actively increase things like your health, the amount of attack damage you do so that you do better each time through. It looks like I have enough cash on me right now to increase that a couple of times. So you know what? I'm just going to stack attack. I'm going to stack attack so I can mac on these enemies because ain't nobody got my back. And so you got to cut me a little slack because I'm all on my own. That's so why I don't know how to act. All right, we got to give up our gold to the gods in order to please them. As long as pleasing the gods doesn't involve my ceremonial knee pads, I'll just go along with it. And you'll see what the game about is all about in just a minute. Like, seriously, this is a very easy game to explain. You're a redneck. You're shooting stuff in a series of rooms. Stuff all wants to kill you. Uh, there's an evil goat over there. We just shot it until it dropped its lunch money. You know. I'm going to shoot them both. And it looks like one of them dropped some... Oh, no, I've been rammed. Bye. Oh, you better not try it. I'm going to eat that meat to get some health back because everybody knows steak is the only true healing reagent. This is my revolver. This is my gun. Uh, this is my Mac-10. It's for fun. And then when fun really starts to knock off, that's when we break out Senor Mini. Senor Mini. Yep, and we just start wasting shit. Oh, we are getting hit, though. It slows our move speed down, and there are way too many projectile filing, firing enemies around for me to really do this prop. There we go. Knock a couple of them out of the sky, and we are already on low ammo. So I'm going to have to get that a little bit of time to recharge its batteries. I'm going to jump on one of these right here. If I right-click, it's going to use my invincibility special. I'm going to combo on him, grab that ammo pickup, and this dude over here, I'm going to need something with a little bit more precision. So let's bring out the old uh, boomstick. There it is. Bring out the old Thunderfinger. The old Thunderfinger. And then I can jump across to there by running on the doorway to go and get my gold because we got to buy them upgrades. If we don't get upgrades, what are we actually doing out here? I think we've got like a grenade launcher or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a grenade launcher. I don't know if it explodes when it hits enemies on first contact, but we'll have to look at that in just a minute. Uh, this room does have enemies. Yes, it does explode on impact when it hits enemies. We got like a ceremonial lava pit over there. That seems like a marked health violation. Like, I don't see you being able to ensure this place very easily unless you get rid of that. I bet your premiums are pretty gnarly. But then again, you're an Egyptian god, so, you know, I would assume that you can afford the premiums. What with all the income coming from all your followers and throwing money into the collection plates and whatnot. Where are the other... Yeah, our redneck talks, by the way. Oh, yeah, there's these down here. I forgot about here. Give me something. Give me something with a little bit more DACA to it. Oh, no. There we go. Knock the gold out of whatever these little eyeball creatures are that spawn out of those pits. Those things on the ground are basically like refuse piles. I think they spawn up like a bunch of weird little wiggle enemies. I'm not going to worry about enemies that wiggle, though. That's not a good verb. Like, if you're trying to be an intimidating bad guy, I would say we'd go with something other than wiggle. And also go with something other than frog. Oh my good lord, there are frogs everywhere. Uh, use my invulnerability shield. I am going through ammo at a super alarming rate right now, though. Keep shooting him. There is a bit of a repeat on the stuff that he says, so get ready for that. I mean, I guess this game is also like one part Redneck Rampage, too, if you ever played Redneck Rampage. Kind of similar to that. Oh, that was it? We just had to fight a bunch of frogs in, like, a weird little pit area? 
You guys have a really odd terrarium for storing your frogs. You might want to bring your frog storage game up to the next level. We live in a world where online shopping exists. You can just jump on Amazon and spend some of that. I mean, I don't know what the conversion rate is on Amazon if you're trying to, like, sell ancient gold pieces from Egypt. But I would assume the exchange rate would be somewhat favorable. Uh, I've got revolver rounds right now. We're looking a little low on ammo, which has got me slightly worried. Oof. That dude put the hurting on me. I'm gonna grab this food over here. Oh, got some kind of like laser ghost. What's up, laser ghost? Messing around with them lasers. You should be messing around with dodging them bullets. Didn't even see it coming straight through his membranes. And then we've got one of these things over here, which is a little problematic. Grenade launcher probably would have done the trick right there, but eh, you know, the Uzi gets it done too. I do like the way that the guns feel. There is a lot of recoil in this game, so if you don't like games with a ton of recoil, I'd watch out for that. Uh, you are going to be fighting with the recoil quite a bit when you play. Aside from that, everything feels pretty silky smooth. I haven't been upset so far with the way the game just rolls forward. Like, everything feels nice. But were there any doors inside this room? There was a door over here. Was there? Oh, there was. I don't know how I didn't see that. All right, we'll hop across to right there. The environmental design is very well done. A lot of the areas do feel very much like speed challenges and things of that nature. I don't know where I'm trying to go right now. To this door, maybe? Is that what it was? I don't know where I was trying to go with that door, so I'm not entirely... Oh, there's somebody hanging upside down shooting magic missiles at me. Oh, shit. There's also some kind of spell sniper thing down there. Well, I'm going to get rid of the sniper first, and then I'm going to climb these platforms, and we'll start dealing with enemies on a one-by-one -one basis here once we figure out exactly who it is we're going after. I do see a lot of targets that are just, like, juicy for the plucking right now. He's got to go, obviously. I think we're going to lose a fair bit of gold to this one. G just watching it go to the ground, unfortunately, because the ground is hot lava. And when the ground is hot lava, you know what that means. Can't touch it. Can't touch on it. Get rid of him so that I can jump to here. And once I get a reasonably decent outlook on these dudes, I'll start firing at them, too. But until I get over here, I don't know. I'm not going to promise anything. There we go. That seems to have done the trick. Now that we got them out of the way, I'm going to start looking for a way to jump up to there, although I'm not seeing it. I might be able to jump across from here to go and get that. Nope, not going to make it from there either. Yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to get up there. My assumption is that that gold is probably just lost, and I'm not even going to worry about it anymore. Oh, this is the stairway room. So the goal of every single level is to get to the next stairway. Pretty much the same thing as Ziggurat. Your goal is just to survive and get to the next part of the dungeon. I don't see any way to get up there, and I really want that scroll. Oh, there is a way right there. I just gotta get up to this part. And if I can make it to here, then I can make it over to here. And I missed out on some of those pickups, but that gives me refills. Oh, all ammo and health refilled. Hell yeah. Got a power-up scroll that gave us just about everything we need to get back in action. Let me throw the clip up out of that Uzi. And then we'll start looking around on this side. And hey, up the stairwell we go. Let's see if we can make this a good run. One of those runs where we get like, I don't know, where we get a little bit of mileage out of what we're trying to do. We're on the second floor. Uh, we get uh, more health and more attack on our enemies, but more ammo and more gold drop for us. So the game is kind of an increasing challenge. And there are bosses and things. I've never defeated any of them. The game gets really challenging at a certain point until you unlock enough stuff to make it further. And so keep that in mind. Oh, shit, frog box. It's a frog box. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, frogs. I don't like what's happening here right now. Oh, I have had frog legs. They aren't terrible. I mean, it's one of those foods that people turn up their nose at, and none of those things dropped a damn thing either. It's one of those things that some people turn their nose up at, but actually it's not so bad. Get some of them fried frog legs. We had those one time. We went out frog gigging. Which is something that only the most rednecky of people do. My family is from the south, all right? My family from... Oh, he aced me right there. Fair play. I'm not even mad. My family's from Georgia and Arkansas. And so we go out frog gigging. Got this big old spotlight, basically, is how it works. If you've never been frog gigging before, you've never had that particular experience. Uh, so basically, the way frog gigging works... Ah, shit. I'm gonna have to keep my cover on this one. We're burning through health too quickly. The way frog gigging works, you get a big old spotlight, you go out by a pond, and there'll be frogs in the pond, like, sticking their heads up. We got some kind of weird midget mummies over here. I'm gonna get rid of you right now. 
Although ammo is looking really suspect at the moment. He tried to get me, but he failed. Thankfully, he failed. If he had managed to actually put the pins on me right there, it would have been a tad more ugly, but... You know, you do the things you gotta do. A little bit more gold. I am remiss to jump down here, but I'm gonna do it anyways because to hell with safety. We are, after all, a redneck. I would assume we would try to accomplish most of our tasks in the Egyptian afterworld using dynamite and, like, Jimmy Rigged solutions. So it's all good. I'm fine. I was privy to these solutions growing up as a kid. I'm used to them. But yeah, anyways, you go out by a lake and you got yourself a big... Oh, you try to shoot at me? You seriously just try to shoot at me? There we go. I'm going to keep this thing spun up. Let them know what. There's two doors here. I'm going to go in this one first. I got 45 bullets left. Probably should have spun up the minigun long before any of the... I'm going to keep it spun by kind of tapping the mouse cursor. Hey, a little bit of health right there. That'll help out. Get rid of this dude before he spawns any further problems. We're up to 782 gold. Not bad. I don't know who else is around, though. Before I come around the corner... I'd like to prepare for that eventuality, yeah, though. Alright, so we got 54 bullets left right there. Not a whole lot left with everything else except for the revolver. So you know what? I'm not going to panic too much about my revolver usage. Damn. That's all over the place. Just cannot make the shots that I need to make right now. I do wish that there was some kind of way to, like, narrow your fire. I don't know. I like aim down sight. That's my thing. And since I don't have aim down sight, I'm very much at a loss right now. I'm playing this in CSGO mode, and I'm not good. Oh, there's a hallway right here. How did I not see that? Like, I walked right past that without ever even realizing. A little bit more ammo to be had. I think that'll get us locked and loaded on the Uzi just in case we need to use it. But I'm going to stick to the revolver for right now. I really like the level design of this game. The level design feels challenging, and there's, like, various things in every room that you kind of got to watch out for. Are these spike pits... God, I hope these aren't spike pits. Laser Mummy, you gotta go. I shot her a little bit low. It was a below the belt shot, all right. I'll admit to it. I'm not gonna kind of. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna try and deny it because it's on camera. Let's be honest. When you try to, when you try to deny some shit, oh my God, that's on camera. We got a fire breathing mini T Rex over here, and laser snipers and all kinds of stuff. Man, we got problems. Luckily, the designers have seen fit to give us some kind of cover. Otherwise, I'd be in a world of shit right now. I'd like to put something down range right there to mess with these dudes, but I don't know if it's going to happen. There we go. Drop him real fast. Is that going to drop into the lava? Please don't drop into the lava. Okay, it didn't drop into the lava. My big nightmare was that my feet, my tootsies were going to get burned. Like, I realize it's cold out right now. It's real cold, but it ain't that cold. It ain't that cold, so I ain't going to give it a go. But yeah, you go out frog gigging. i got to finish my stories more on the channel. So when you go out frog gigging, you go out by a lake, and you get yourself a big old spotlight that's like a bajillion lumens or whatever. That is not the gun that I wanted. There we go. That's the gun that I wanted. And you shine it on the lake. And what will happen is you got a couple guys in waders that go out to find the frogs. Because the frogs will be sitting at the surface with their little frog lumps sticking up above the water. Uh, because they got those little lumps. It's not their frog nuts. It's their head. Frog lumps are the head. They're not the nuts, all right? That's not what I was going for. But anyways, they, their little knobby things on their heads stick up. And so you have somebody in waders out there who stand real, real still. And the frogs will kind of just be around, and you just got to reach real fast and grab them. And that's for... Oh, shit. That was a hit for the ages right there. Good lord. Yeah, we took a battering right there, man. You can call me deep fried chicken, because we got battered. Uh, so far, so bad. Oh, I don't know where the enemies are going to be at. We got an ammo crate right there. I'm going to take it. I didn't want to pop my invincibility, because I wasn't sure if there was one behind me or not. There we go. Get him up and out of here. They definitely have more health than they had before because I'm going to have to put rounds on these beddies. I can handle you with like one clip. I'm not even stressed about it. Give me a little bit of meat over here so that I can revitalize myself. Revitalate up. We got an enemy right there. I don't see anything else that looks concerning though. It actually seems like they're just feeding us kills one by one. And so I'm not going to panic about it. I'm going to stick to the revolver for now and just kind of hope that I pick up a little bit more ammo I do have a minigun so that's an option for clearing out all these little turds over here and they're gonna drop hella ammo which is exactly what we needed what's inside my treasure chest over here we've got ourselves the mini map only shows the last visited rooms ah shit it's a curse what am I gonna do with this crap? and what is that right there oh it's a laser pistol yeah Ooh, a laser pistol okay 
I like laser pistolas. I'll probably swap that out. I'll probably swap that out for the grenade launcher since I haven't been using it much. Now that we got a laser pistol, it's time to get futuristic up in this bitch. Yup, it's like, pachow, 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 everybody gonna die. Were there any doors or anything around here? Or was there only the door that I came through? Okay, there was only the door that I came through, so that was just like an extra room. The rest of it doesn't matter. This room should be safe because this is back to the central hub. And so let's have a look around inside this room and see what sort of trouble we can get into. Nah, I've been in here. I've been in here. I recognize this. So yeah, mini map's a little confusing right now, now that we got that amnesia perk, unfortunately. That scroll making it so that we're having trouble figuring out where we've been. There we go. There's a new room. What's this room got for me inside of it? One thing that is important to me with a game like this, if you're gonna play- Oh, never mind. I haven't been in here. And I have been in- Shit. This amnesia shit's gonna get real old real fast. What an annoying scroll. God. That is like a super annoying scroll. Was there another door down here? Oh, there was. I know I haven't been in this one, so there you go. Uh, laser pistol appears to be not quite as good. I'm just going to stay moving in all fairness. I feel like stopping right now is among one of the worst plans that I could ever conjure. Yeah, because we got stuff shooting at us from above. We got little dudes running up on us from the sides. Grab that health real quick. Grab the coins before they disappear because I feel like this room, there's a distinct possibility this room might be it for us. But yeah, if you like Quake type gameplay, if you enjoyed Ziggurat, uh, if you enjoy Serious Sam, this is this game's a no brainer. Like you have to go get it because it's barking up that exact same tree. It's the kind of game that it's built for you. A second chance, come to back to life with full health if you die. Hell yeah, I'll take that one. That's way better than that last shitty maca ass scroll that we got last time. Okay, we managed to kill everybody in here, and we actually came out the better for it with regards to our health. I was a little bit worried about that, but our health is up. Things are looking good. Ding, ding. Let's do this thing. Ow, Christ. Dude, I'm not even playing with you, weird sky demon. I got a mini gun right now. I'm in here like, yeah. I'm in here like, ah, no. Yeah. I'm the honor with the gun, and I'm just like, ah. Nobody knows what I'm saying, ah. I did a movie with children. The secret to Arnold is just to draw off into like a every time you try to finish a sentence. And people will be like, oh my god, that's a great Arnold impression. You don't even have to do a real Arnold impression. You just go all the time and people just go along with it. There we go. I'm going to leap that gap right there because I'm a goddamn action hero and you can't stop me. What do we have going on down here? Take that, asshole. Laser pistoled. Apparently, ancient Egyptian demons are yeah, super Sparky, susceptible. Have some joy. Apparently, my gun's name is Sparky McSparkface. Sparky McSparkface, everyone. Sparky McSparkface is doing work right now. Oof. Almost got me. Did get me. What the shit is that? Some kind of bondage snake. Good lord. I will lead my snakes. Out of bondage. I like the way this is panning out so far. Although I do like the pinpoint accuracy of this laser. I'm going to grab that meat down there because if I don't get some health back. Oh, I think it penetrates too. It might penetrate. I don't know. We're almost out of ammo for it though, so that's a problem. Destroy that refuse pile too because it's going to count towards our total. Oh, it jumps in between enemies of a similar type maybe? I don't know, but this is a great firearm. I'm starting to find more and more things to like. It increases your attack if you have full health. Sure, why not? I'll take another scroll that makes me better. Sounds great. Anybody else in here trying to get some? Because I got it for you. If you're trying to get some, I am a wide and rapid purveyor of some. All I can do now is really hope that they're not behind me. Because if they're behind me, we have... Troubles. Troubles! Troubles, I got troubles! Although I suppose for this, since we're an immortal redneck, you would be like, Well, I got troubles every day. Well, I got troubles on my train. I don't know. Country songs about trains? What do country people sing about? I would assume, like, being American and driving trucks, drinking bar. That's what I would assume anyways. I don't know. I ain't listened to country music since like Randy Travis days. 
It's been a while. My mom was a big Randy Travis fan, no lie. No lie. My mom was at the party and Randy Travis showed up. I think my dad be in a little bit of a mess. He'd be in a little bit of trouble. I mean, don't tell him I said that, but... Yeah, there you go. Spread my lasers, and it's nice when the bounce is actually strong enough. Oh my good sweet Jeebus Lord. There are so many things laying around on the ground right now. That was the one right there. That was the one that I had to have. The fire rate ain't bad on this thing either. Like, for realsies, it gets the job done. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of the bullets. Go away, froggies. Get up out of here, Egyptian frogs. Man, Egyptian people, you got some crazy frogs out where you live. Your frogs are not fucking around. Uh, what do we have going on over here? We got the stairwell. How do I get the stairwell? Can I just go up it? I mean, if there's more areas, mission don't get hurt. That's ominous. I don't know exactly what my goal is. Like, if I knew where I was going, maybe I could not get hurt while I went there a little better. I don't know. I'm thinking if I just jump down. Oh, shit on me. I messed it up. I messed it up. I tried to jump straight for it, and that was a mistake. So my assumption is we get down to this portal right here, and then something happens if we haven't gotten hurt yet. Yep. Messed it up, man. No good at this kind of stuff. I am not the one. Yeah, and that takes you back up to the top. Oh, but there's a second door over there. I wonder if there's anything good inside of it. Let's check. Take me up, Scotty. Or there might just be another psychotic room full of shit that wants to kill me. Yeah, let's get moving. I'm not even playing with you right now, weird little dog-headed jackal creatures. Not even playing with you right now. Ow. Little bastard, you gotta go too. Oh, there's some meat over here, and we definitely need it. So if I can throw that into my overall person, I think that'd be great. Let's jump across to this side, and we'll try to keep this thing moving. So let's do this thing. I'm gonna go up the stairs and see how that suits me. I bet we're getting close to like a boss fight or something. If I can show you guys a boss fight in the first episode, that'd be what's up. Because I've been failing over and over and over again to get to the first boss. It's been miserable. Stand for the view, stand for the slam. Bring it all. Stay for the slam like I'm a super saiyan. Oh, hey, what's up? I see you. Yep, throwing your weird little balls at me. There we go. That's what I... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you gotta go right now. Otherwise, this is gonna get worse. Oh, good lord. It's so hard to shoot while jumping over shit. There we go. Cleared out this little area. If I'm inside his circle, ooh. Now that's what I call a piece. All right, well, I'm not gonna stay. Oh, we got snipers on that side too. Well, laser cannon, I'm gonna need your help. I'm gonna need you to contribute here. There we go. Oh, that one fell off. Good. Nobody ever knew what happened to her. She just fell off after a while. I would love to get up there, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of ways to do it. There's platforms up top though. They kind of make me... Oh, there's stairs right here. How can I get up higher? Ask Splatter. Oh, there's more enemies. That's... I'm going to have to get up higher. Okay. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're grumpy. You're undead. You fly around. You've got wings growing out of your head. We get the point. We get it. We get it. Maybe there's a stairwell in here. There is indeed. Well, these guys are going to find out the hard way. There it is. Chop them in half. Oh, there's one right there, too. Good lord. They're everywhere. We got some health back, though, so we're not totally hosed just yet. But we are hurting. Can I jump up to there if I go right there? Oh, I can. Good. And well, now I gotta go get the treasure because I don't want it to disappear. I would probably remove that as a feature. I don't like games where the power-ups disappear. I don't know. Just leave them on the ground, especially in a busy game like this where you're running around non-stop just like fighting with stuff, trying to be a badass. Yeah, just let me have my treasure, man. Let me have my treasure. Let me have my treasure, man. Let me have it. Alright, so we'll go over this way. And it looks like there's a door over here somewhere. I've got amnesia, though, so... Finding doors is kind of a... Oh, shit. What's happening? 
the Pharaoh, king of ancient Egypt. Dude, you have an eyeball growing out of your chest. Physiologically, I think that's a problem. My guess is that I probably have to destroy all this shit. Does that hurt him, or do I still have to blow these up? There you go. A little bit more health damage right there. Trying to stay on it. I was hoping one of these would maybe drop some, like, meat out of it, but no such luck. Could keep on trucking, and that probably would have been my death right there. Oh, shit. I'm about to get killed by a midget mummy. How did I know this was how my life was going to turn out? Death by a midget mummy. There we go. Another one bites the dust. I'm going to try and stay out of the way of whatever fireball shit he's trying to do. Oh, no. He has many fireballs. Many fireballs, and they are all trying to harm me. Are those now immune? What's going on with those? Oh, I can actually hurt him. Okay. Did he just go inside one of them? Oh, dude, I think he did. I think he did. Uh. Oh, shit. I came back with full health. I forgot about that. Yeah! I'm out of ammo for the minigun, but minigun feels like the solution to this problem to me. Doesn't it feel like it to you? It kind of feels like the solution to me. Minigun fixes all problems. I'm going to pop in vulnerability and just run on this dude. There it is. Got that kill. What do we unlock? What do I get? What cool things happened when I killed the Pharaoh mummy dude? Oh, he dropped a lockbox. Is that a cooler? What is that? I'm going to assume it's going to be a cooler. It's got to be a cooler. We're playing a game about rednecks. It's got to be one of those styrofoam coolers. Has to be. Oh, what now? You run out of gas. Wouldn't last a minute in Topeka. What is that? What did I just pick up? Was that like a shit ton of gold? Oh, cool. I've got like a magical onk now. I'd probably take that over my revolver right here. Yeah, go ahead and do that. This is about to disappear. So what was that? I just picked up a thing. What did it do? What did the cooler do? Give me like full health or something? Huh. I've got a magic onk. All right. Well... This game is called Immortal Redneck. If you like what you saw so far, I'm going to go commit suicide so that we can figure out what we earned. We're on the fourth floor. I'm going to see what we unlocked here. Let me go find something to kill me so we can figure out what we unlocked after that first boss. But if you wanted to see more of this game, by all means, let me know. I can play more Immortal Redneck. It's not too much of a deal. Uh, where are the doors at? Maybe i got to walk up some stairs or something first. There we go. Stair walking. Oh, cool. That gives you kind of like a cool little effect when you do that. It kind of reminds me of that weapons in Hexen. Is what it reminds me of. It's like one of those weird side weapons you would get as the mage in Hexen. Uh, I could probably jump to that right there, maybe. Nope, nope, I cannot jump to that right there. I failed. I failed miserably. Apparently, we're doing platforming challenges right now. Oh, shit balls. I fell too far. I fell too far, and it was too terrifying. All right. I got to find something to kill me so you can see how the unlock system works. There we go. Something inside of here slay me real fast. And I will do my best... To shoot you with an onk. Because I want to know how much damage it do. The onk actually surprisingly not so terrible. Also got infinite ammo, which is a big bonus. That seems like a major plus. There we go. Feel free. Yes, murder me. Murder me all day long. I don't mind. I can't live this redneck life anymore. I can't do it. It's too stressful. Uh, we killed the boss. We made it up to the second floor. We have not reached the apex. So my assumption is that there's multiple bosses. Then you unlock the next pyramid. Then you keep on going. But as far as the unlock system goes, uh, we'll go with the redneck this time. And then I'll show you over here. You actually have a talent tree. A literal talent tree. A literal talent tree that you fiddle around with on this side. And so you interact with it. You can click on stuff so we can get the Apis upgrade. Or we can increase the amount of ammo we pick up. Oh, we can increase our defense so we take less damage. Let's buy that one for the next little bit and kind of see what the tree does. Uh, the merchant becomes open for business. So let's get level three here. We'll open up the merchant and we'll see what he's got going on. Merchant, what do you have? Oh, ain't it fucking time already? Let me see if they sell any nice whiskey. 
uh, grants you a scroll to enter the pyramid, grants you a good scroll as you enter the pyramid. The pyramid will be the same as the last time you visited it, but all the gold will be gone. There's also medallions that you can purchase, but you gotta find medallions in order to get them. And I can't just rob him. I can't just rob him. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Immortal Redneck. If you want to see a little bit more, by all means, I have no problem recording. It's a fun little title. See y'all next time. Bye, everybody.